My name is Catherine Preslin. I'm a machine learning scientist and I work managing a team of other scientists working for Amazon Alexa. So my job bridges the gap between engineering and machine learning. So we take things out of the lab and put them into products and take machine learning innovations and algorithms and get them in front of products that are, are used by millions of people around the world. The products that we're building right now that have machine learning in them are changing the way that people interact with machines. It used to be um, unthinkable that you could just talk to a machine. It was the stuff of sci-fi film. And uh, now we're actually building systems which do this. And they're not perfect, there's still a long way to go. But I think we've reached the point that these, these systems, these products are actually usable by a huge number of people and they're changing the way people put work and people live. And so I think it's a really exciting area to be involved in because there's a lot of chance to make a big impact in the world. I don't think I naturally have a lot of confidence. I think I, um, I prefer to, to do something, to, to be well prepared. Um, so if I'm faced with doing something new, I tend to um, practice, read up a lot on the subject and try it out a couple of times before I feel confident in doing it. But once I've, I've done something a couple of times, I find I know how to do it and I'm a lot more comfortable. My proudest moment in life so far was when I finished my PhD because this is the culmination of three and a half years of my own work. And at the time, three and a half years was a long chunk of, large chunk of the work that I'd done. Getting through that and finishing my thesis and handing it in, I think, was a very proud moment. In the end, I had a big celebration with lots of champagne. <laughs> lots of um, my friends came and celebrated. The best advice I've ever been given was from an old supervisor of mine who, who reminded me that I shouldn't undervalue myself, which I think is something that a lot of women tend to do, and I see a lot of women tending to undervalue their skills and overvalue others. And so I think that's something that stuck with me. When I started working in this field, it was because I was really interested in understanding how we could make computers do things like transcribe speech or understand pictures, things that people found really easy, but, but computers didn't. Um, and that was several years ago when, when these things weren't really very popular. And now with the recent explosion in data-driven products, it's been, I've been really excited to be involved in getting this technology into products and having it out there so that lots of people can use. And I think the other thing that is misunderstood about this field perhaps is just how creative it is because there, there's a lot of creativity involved in building up cutting edge technology, in, in coming up with ways to apply what you know at scale. And I think the, the bridge between science and engineering is a really great one because it allows you to be able to be involved at the cutting edge.